the style of art that you have, when did you, had you always been doing that uh, particular style and how would you describe it really? Um, um, I kind of, uh, all right, way, way back when I was in my final year of university, I think it was uh, for my undergrad, I think it was 1994, I went to a retrospective at uh, the Whitney of Basquiat and I walked in the room and I was just stunned. So as I walked around, the freedom with which he'd been working um, really blew me away. And I started to look at that time at more abstracted artists like Cy Twombly and all, all the old school guys. And it just stayed with me in my head. Like I'd always thought of myself as being somebody who had to paint more realistically. And all of a sudden I saw this and it, it really touched me. And I thought that's what I wanted to do more of. I wanted to move away from naturalism and what I was doing. So okay. I, I, I started to look at uh, this group of artists from um, Europe. They're called Cobra, Copen Copenhagen, Brussels. They're a coalition. They're, they're very, very communist. So they never caught on in the States exactly. Okay. Um, well, they, they're so communist that sometimes they even finished each other's paintings or their kids would work on their work and they didn't care. Huh. So they, were, they, they live in one big house and kind of live together and finish pieces. Carl Appel and uh, Pierre Alachinsky are two of their big um, uh, art stars. They made it big in New York uh, after their movement moved on. But I, I've, always, I've always been inspired by their kind of work. And uh, there's Jean Dubuffet, who's interested in, he's kind of like interested in early surrealism with, you know, whatever comes out of you, you know, automatic writing, automatic painting, and he and he, I knew about his work in university, and it has always been my way of working in my head. Like I'm, I'm more about representing the reality of what's going on inside you mm -hmm. or inside me than the physical world around me. So I, I, I think that's that's where my influences come from. So when I paint, it's like an inner dialogue around emotions or ideas that are bouncing around in my head. So hmm. I, I also think, I, I also really believe by me being specific about me, I get at something about you. It's, it's that we have a commonality that we reach by being honest. And, and I think that's what I try to do with my pieces. Hmm. So, and the, you said you were doing natural, more naturalistic type stuff before that. How, how hard uh, was it to adjust to, cause now what you do is very much um, yeah. the opposite of that. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Um, it, it, it wasn't that hard to adjust, uh, but I will say you always have doubts. Um, I come from a small town, and growing up, you know, it's like, how good an artist are you? Well, how real does it look? Mm. And you, you always have that little voice in the back of your head saying, well, you know, maybe you should just go to portraits, and especially with... You know, a lot of people do that kind of thing, and I, I mean, but when I sit down to draw, it's it doesn't feel right for me. Mm -hmm. It's it's not that I can't do it; I can do it. Um, I I just it's more painful for me. It's more of a strict. Whereas this other thing feels more free. It feels more about myself. Yeah, and it feels more honest. Mm -hmm. 